so i hope uh, okay the recording has already started so this minimax and uh, maximum principle i hope uh, you have understood nothing much find out the i have told you like uh, go from left to right in this case okay in this particular min max find out the maximum values and take the minimum value of of that particular thing choose the minimum value out of all the maximum values of all the uh, different solution that you have okay or different choices that you have that is min max so max min again i told you go from left to right okay so first find the minimum payoff of all the different uh, choices that you have then take the maximum out of those okay so this is max min so now coming to sequencing so you are having only theory of these particular things okay so but to explain theory also so if i just uh, take the procedure and explain it is very difficult for you to understand so first we'll see a small uh, uh, theory of go to a particular problem then you can understand that particular thing better okay so here sequencing in the sense so there will be multiple jobs multiple machines okay so multiple jobs in the sense if you want to make some so just for example take a particular uh, stool or a chair okay first you need to get wood it will be in raw state then you need to cut it in a particular shape that you require okay then make necessary changes whether you want it square round octagonal whatever shape it is okay then make grooves wherever necessary so fix it properly then uh it depends again you are using nails or you are using fabricol or whatever so do that then assemble so this is a vague idea of a person making a chair okay a wooden chair right so this is how you are doing it so these are called as different jobs so to make a particular chair we are having a set of different things that need to be done so raw wood is being taken it is being cut in uh, different shapes as required okay then uh have some operations of making it round square octagonal uh heptagonal or whatever okay so that particular thing has to be done it if it has to be bent somewhere yes it has to be bent so these are all the operations that you are doing okay in this we are calling them as jobs so to do these particular jobs you need some machines okay so there are various set of machines that you are using okay for cutting cutting machine is there Uh, for making it round and all there is a lathe machine that you are using basically okay so to make it round and all or to give a different shape to it right so then for cutting you are using a saw okay then for joining it could be the fabricol or it could be nails okay so these are some of the machines where you are using it to do a particular work in my case the example is chair so this is machines so in this particular uh, so like uh, your syllabus we are having n jobs two machines n jobs three machines okay and two machines n jobs so this is the different combinations that we have and only theory is there so here in the first one if you see processing n jobs through two machines n jobs in the sense okay as i told you jobs different operations there are multiple operations to be done but i am having only two machines okay so if you see the theory says there are n different jobs to be processed on two machines that's what i told n jobs two machines and it is desired to determine the optimal sequence of jobs that maximizes sorry minimizes t t is the time so we are looking at minimizing the time and maximizing the output right so there are two machines how to go how to sequence it what job to be done first what job to be set to done second and on which particular job i mean which particular machine it has to be done okay the total time elapsed from the start of the job to the uh, on the first machine to the completion of the last job on the second machine so this is the t total t capital t so the time starts from first machine that you start from first job to the last machine i mean the second machine to the last job so this is the total time taken to complete different jobs on different machines so is it also includes the ideal time if any so for example if you do a particular job and it has to be that particular machine 
the job has to be kept just like that before going it to the next machine so even that particular time as and when you are keeping it somewhere okay so that your turn comes even that time has to be added here so there are some particular things that are assumed so this is very much important assumed things so there are only two machines involved in this a and b okay so as we know two machines a and b are there only two machines are involved a and b each job is processed in the order a b in the sense the first machine and the uh, it has to go through a and then only with b so you cannot go first with b then a or a and b so as as and when a is working b may be working may not be working and each and every job has to first go to machine a then it has to go to machine b so that is the second thing then setup times of machine a and uh, machine a and b are independent of the sequence in which the jobs are taken up in the sense there is some setup uh, time that is required to setup uh, done in machine a and b and these are independent of each other okay so each machine takes its own time to be uh properly uh, what you call arranged okay so this is the next point then in process storage space is available and the cost of in process inventory is either same for each job or is too small to be considered that means inventory inventory in the sense you are bringing the raw materials or the materials in process and you are keeping it somewhere okay this is called as inventory so what they are saying here is the cost is minimal or there is no cost for storing these particular things okay this however is correct only for processes involving short duration if you are keeping it for only 5 minutes 10 minutes half an hour one hour then it is there otherwise the cost of storing also should be added okay then order of completion of jobs has no significance that is no job is required more urgently than the other that means the sequence of jobs 1 2 3 4 5 6 if there are six particular things to be done on two machines you cannot give preference to any of the machine okay all the jobs are equally treated it's not that you need to first concentrate on job a only or job b only okay so it is stated that all the jobs are having same preference there is no preferential basis that only uh, first job has to be done or fourth job has to be done first no nothing like that okay then the actual or expected processing times a1 a2 an and uh, an and b1 b2 and so on are known and represented by a table of the type shown below okay there is a particular table okay i'll show it to you see here so if you see what is there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are different jobs this is machine a okay this is machine b so time taken for one job 1 in machine a is 3 so it is in minutes they have given so this is 3 minutes and for machine b it is 8 minutes okay so this is how you know so what job in what machine how much time it takes okay even that is that with that we need to sequence so what job has to be done first in what machine then in the what the slide machine. is not visible sir your yeah? presentation is not visible and else sir slide is not with yeah 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 i am i am just checking Uh, can you see the screen now students is it visible yes sir yes sir okay fine so you can see here this is a table okay i'll just go back a bit so there are different jobs 1 to 6 here given so this is machine a i'll put a here this is machine b okay and time taken for each job for job 1 in machine a it is taking 3 minutes in 
uh, machine B, it is taking the same job. That is job one is taking eight minutes. So this particular things should be known to you. So as and when we take this particular example and see, you will understand the process and the procedure easily. Okay. Uh, fine. So this is the example. Okay. So this was the uh, theory of it and the things that we are assuming before starting the sequencing. Okay. I just explained what all things are there and how it is being done. Right. So now example, a machine operator has to perform two operations. Okay. Turning and threading. The name is turning and threading. So don't worry. Don't uh, get into much of this. So this is some mechanical terms basically. Okay. Turning and threading. Turning in the sense we are making the uh, surface plain. Okay. It is called as turning operation. Threading need not tell you. So there is a nut and bolt arrangement. You can see on the nut, uh, bolt, uh, there are some grooves, right? On which the nut rotates and goes. So that process is called as threading. So here two things are there. It is turning and threading on a number of jobs. So the number of jobs are six. That is one to six. We just saw the time required to perform these operations. So in minutes they have given for each job is known. So determine the order in which the jobs should be processed in order to minimize the total time required to turn out all the jobs. That means what is the total time required to start from job one to job six from A to B completion, total completion time for finishing the jobs one to six in machine A and B. Uh, what do you call uh, throughout? Okay. And also find the total processing time and idle times for turning and threading operations. So this is not that uh, much important for you as of now, but we'll see that as well. So what to do? So now you can see here jobs are given for machine A times in minutes are given for machine B times in minutes are given to you. So how to proceed? So first from A and B. So there are six, uh, what do you call jobs? So I need to make six boxes like this. So this here, if you see six boxes are done here. So this is the sequence. Okay. So first we need to check from A and B column A and column B. So for machine A, I am talking, uh, I'm uh, telling you it as uh, column A for machine B, whatever times are there, I'm uh, calling it as uh, column B. Okay. So if you see in A and B, check whichever is the smallest one. So in this case, 3, 12, 5, 2, 9, 11, 8, 10, 9, 6, 3, and 1. So I'm having 1 here. Okay. So 1 here is there, but it is in B. Okay. So if you are getting the smallest values in A, then it has to be right, written on the left, uh, left hand side uh, to start. So here, see here, this side. So if you are getting in A, we have to start like this writing from left to right. But if you are getting it in B, then you have to start writing it from right to left. Okay. So I'll just tell you. So if you see here, one was the smallest one, right? Smallest time here is one. So it is the job six, right? So job six is there. It is in B. So what I told you, you should write it from the right to left. So six is written here. Okay. So six is written here. So this is the sequence. So at last I need to take job six. Okay. So next after that, so it is reduced. Now six is there, right? So sorry, six is there. So six is done. So this one I'm canceling. So no need to cancel. Okay. You need to check. So what happens? I have canceled that six one. So if you see here, only five jobs are there in this particular case because sixth one I have already assigned now. Okay. I have already given it which particular sequence it has to go. It has to go at the last. Okay. So six is already given. So one, two, three, four, five. Now check which is the smallest one. So I'm having three, 12, five, two, nine, eight, 10, nine, six, three. So if you see, I'm having two is the smallest corresponding, which is the job here. It is four. So which side it is, it is in a, so again, I'll write a and B, a and B. So which side it is, it is in side a. So it has to be written from left to right. So I'll go to the next one. If you see four is being written here. Okay. Because the time was in column A, it has to be written from left to right. If it is from B, then you have to write it from right to left. Okay. So again, fourth one, 
if you see four i am writing and six is already here so i have to cancel this four okay so next one if i see if you see the next one four is gone now one see here in this job column it is one two three and five okay so now coming to the smallest one again check there is three twelve five nine eight ten nine and three so there are three and three two things are there three and three so what do you need to do from this side we need to write it from left to right from for this three we need to write it from right to left okay so this three corresponding to one here okay so this three is corresponding to one so i have to write from left to right so i am writing one here okay because it is in a so i'll write again a machine a and machine b so this one is in b column but it is corresponding to number five so five is written from right to left so five is written here so now what to do i have to cancel this right one and three so we are left with only two and three so in two and three so again if you see two and three is only left here in this job then 12 5 10 and 9 the lowest one is 5 so it has to be written so it's corresponding to 3 and it is in machine a a and b so it is in machine a so where i should write 3 should be written here and we are left with only one two has to be written here so this is the sequence so out of six jobs in two machines so it starts from a, a here okay this is a it is going like this so what to do so first job that goes into a is job number four after finishing job four job one will go then job three will go then job two will go then job five then job six in a i'm talking as and when you're finishing a this particular job four will go to uh, machine b okay so if you see here now we can calculate so i hope you understood the sequencing so i'll finish first then i'll explain once again okay so sequencing is done the sequencing is four one three two five and six right so now uh, the last one that is total time elapsed so how to calculate that so if you see there is one more table here given to you how to do it i'll tell you okay so if you see here job four was the first one so in the same sequence it is written if you see here the job same sequence four one three two five and six so you can see here four one three two five six the same sequence is written in the job here it is turning operation for us it is machine a and threading operation it is machine b right so time in and out right so as and when you go to a particular machine to start the work it is the start time or it is in time and as and when you finish that operation and bring that particular thing out it is out time so if you see for a that is fourth one first first job that is four in time okay in time is zero we are starting now okay so it is zero then how much time it is taking i have to check the original table here okay if you see here job four how much it is taking it is taking two minutes right so we have to come take it out at after two minutes right you have to start at zero and you have to bring it out at two because it is taking two minutes to complete that particular work in machine a so time out is two so as and when you take out so the next job should go in so it is the next one it is one right see here it is one now so one what is the in time in time is two after taking out the first job only you can enter the next job right so it is it is starts at two because first job is taking two minutes then only you can start with the second job so after two minutes i am starting with the job two in this case it is uh, one okay so what is the total time required for one i'll go back so for one it is three minutes right so three minutes if you see you have to add three to two in time is two and out time is five that is two plus three total time required is 2 plus 3 is 5 so for the next job it will be starting at 5 in will be 5 okay so for 5 if you see what is the time required 9 so 9 5 plus 9 sorry just a second what is the job here sorry next job is 3 not 5 job is 3 if you see for 3 it is 5 5 minutes so it is 5 plus 5 will give me 10 okay so this is 10 
so now next in would be at 10 okay 10 what is the job job number 2 if you see what is job 2 it is 12 minutes so it is 10 plus 12 is 22 we are getting 22 similarly next next job will enter at 22nd minute so it is 22 which is that one fifth one so fifth if you see 9 minutes is required so 22 plus 9 will give me 31 this is 31 minutes i got so last job will enter at 31st minute okay 31 plus what is the sixth one six one okay here it is 11 minutes sixth one so if you see i have to add 11 here. 31 plus 11 will give me 42 so to complete all the jobs in time a uh, in machine a it takes 0 to 42 minutes that is total 42 minutes it takes now coming to machine b okay so as and when you finish machine a the process in machine a the same job number 4 is going to machine b okay so the time in is 2 because it is taking 2 minutes right first so till then this machine b is not doing anything it is just waiting to uh, waiting for the job to come from a as you remember i think uh, there was some as a assumption that is it has to go from a then only to b so first job is four job number four which is going from machine a it is taking two minutes and it is coming out after two minutes okay so the in time in for b would be two minutes okay so at second minute it will enter in machine b then how much time it will take for job four job four where is job four yeah job four b machine it is it will take six minutes okay so two plus six so it is eight we are getting eight so coming out of machine b for first job that is job four is eight so it will come out at eight okay then comes second job okay so for second job it is eighth minute it is entering into machine b okay so eight plus what is the job number one so for job number one for machine b we need to check job number one machine b is eight minutes so i'll go back eight plus eight it is 16 so for the next job to get in it will be at 16 so what is the job number job number is three so check three is nine so 16 plus 9 is 25 we are getting 25 so in will be 25 25 plus what is the job job is 2 check for 2 it is 10 so 25 plus 10 is 35 we are getting 35 then it will the next job will enter at 35th minute so what is the job job is 5 so fifth job how much time it will take go back and check for five it is taking three minutes so 35 plus three will give me 38 so last one last one if you see here why it is 42 here and not 38 because this thing is finishing at 42 here if you if you see here earlier 35 is here but we are finishing this job in 22 only so it is finished then it is waiting to go inside b okay it is waiting here but last one if you see here it is 38 so you are finishing the job for in machine b at 38th minute but the first job in machine a it is not yet complete so after completing a only we can enter into b okay so it is completing uh, the job 6 here job 6 is finishing machine a operation after 40 second minute only so 42 only has to be taken in machine b 42 plus the sixth one just check how many are there uh, what is the time taken it is one minute so it will be 42 plus one is 43 i hope you understood this yeah students how we are sequencing and how it is moving from machine a to b so i'll just explain in brief Okay, in short, I'll explain what is going on. So there were some jobs here. In this case, we are having one to six. There is there are two machines, A and B, and time taken for each machine for each job is given in minutes. Okay, three minutes for job A or job one. The 
फॉर मशीन ए इट टेक्स थ्री मिनट्स एंड इन मशीन बी इट टेक्स एट मिनट्स फॉर जॉब टू इट टेक्स फॉर मशीन ए ट्वेल्व मिनट्स फॉर मशीन बी इट टेक्स टेन मिनट्स सो सिमिलरली फॉर अदर जॉब्स इट इज द टाइम ड्यूरेशन इज गिवन इन मिनट्स सो फर्स्ट वॉट वी डिड इज फर्स्ट वी फाउंड आउट दीक्वेंस सो हाउ डिड वी डू इट सो सीक्वेंस सिक्स जॉब्स सिक्स स्क्वेयर्स आई एम ड्रॉइंग okay so this particular six squares i have drawn here this particular six and first we are finding out the smallest time in this okay and we are even checking whether it is in machine a or machine b the smallest in this case is one we are getting this one in machine b so as i earlier told you for machine b you have to start writing it from right to left okay for machine a we have to write it from left to right so first we are getting in job number 6 smallest time is job number 6 but it is in machine b so what we need to do we need to write it from right to left so the last column i am writing this 6 and that particular thing is gone now so that particular thing is gone we have to cancel it so next if you remove 6 i am having 1 to 5 here then the smallest one check which is the smallest one smallest one is 2 where it is it is in machine a column and the job number is 4 so i am writing 4 here okay so if you go next you can see 4 is already written here in this place right so next find the smallest one i am having 3 in two places one in machine a and one in machine b for machine a we have to write it from left to right for machine b we have to write it from right to left so 3 corresponds to job 1 one. one is written here and for 3 it is uh, job 5 in machine b so it is written from left to right in this particular place okay then we are left with two jobs that is 2 and 3 find out smallest one it is fifth okay corresponding to job number 3 in a so i am writing 3 in this place and only left is 2 and i am writing it this place okay this is how sequencing for two machines and n jobs is done okay then how it goes in i just explained entering first at time 0 it will enter what is the first sequence it is 4 Four one three two five six. I am writing four one three two five six here. Okay, then first job is number four. It enters at time zero. It needs two minutes, right? So it will come out at two minutes. So next job that is one will enter at two minutes and it takes three minutes to work. Okay, so two plus three is five is written here. Next job will enter at five minutes and that is job three. it is taking 5 minutes so add 5 plus 5 10 okay then next job will get in at 10th minute and the job is second job 2 right it takes 12 minutes so 10 plus 12 is 22 then next job at 22 and the job is job number 5 time taken is number 9 uh, that is 9 minutes so 22 plus 9 is 31 then next that is the last job job number 6 enters at 31st minute and it takes 11 minutes to complete in machine a so 31 plus 11 is 42 so as and when we finish one job in machine a okay you have to start machine b also you cannot wait make it wait till all the jobs are done okay because one job is already done right so after two we have to enter in machine b so machine b we are entering in at two after finishing job a okay yeah sorry job 4 in machine a finishing it and we are entering in machine b so 2 we are entering in at b at second minute okay plus how much time it is taking it is taking 6 minutes so 6 plus 2 is 8 so next job will enter at 8th minute and it is taking 8 minutes to complete 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 then next job is at 16 plus 9 25 next will be at enter at 25 plus 10 35 then next will enter at 35 plus 3 38 so there is a catch here so 38 is here but the uh, machine it will not the job will not enter in machine b unless it is 42 because you can see here go back and check here unless we finish job a we cannot start with job b so in job a it is taking 42 minutes right so before that only you cannot enter into machine b so after completing a at 42 minutes we are entering at b at 42 minutes only then it is taking 1 minute extra we are finishing it at 43rd minute understood 
how sequence is uh, sequencing is done and how it is being taken through from machine a and machine b so any doubts here students any doubts in sequencing for n jobs and two machines everyone understood yes yeah, students understood please respond yes or no if no ask me the doubt i'll explain if you are having no doubts please tell no doubts yes yeah, students please respond no doubts right so next one is processing n jobs through three machines n jobs three machines so okay there is no much time left okay so we'll continue this particular n jobs and three machines in the next class okay so we'll stop here for today n jobs and three machines in the next class okay students take care we'll meet in the next class